Photography arrived in Samoa beginning end of the 19th century with the first European and American colonizers to, to reach the islands. And as an art form, it was purely European. The products of the photography were mainly ethnographic and artistic to be returned to Europe or the America as uh, exhibits basically of what life here, if it wasn't like, it should be like. Exotic and erotic are the two words that come quickly, most quickly to mind. In the spring semester of 2005, these historic images from the Folletti Barstow Public Library's Polynesian Photo Archives were viewed by the four students in Reggie Meredith's basic photography class at American Samoa Community College. Their assignment respond to these photographs. Actually, when I saw these photographs of the past, I knew they were of my people, but it didn't feel like they were of my people. There was like no real personal connection with these photos from the past. First time I've ever seen like black and white photos that actually like sort of meant something to me because they are of my people, someone's. Outsiders' opinion about us that Samoa is just a beautiful island with people roaming around. They don't do anything and it's just the perfect place to just come in and colonize it. Because the white people think that um, they can just put a sign like that and just tell the, those little girls to hold it up without knowing what it means. The really great thing about seeing the archive photos was when I got to see the way we were portrayed. So these are the lasting evidence, pieces, lasting pieces of evidence that will forever go down, you know, to show the way Samoa was a hundred years ago. You know, we know better. We know that's not what it was. And so I think I tried really hard to show the way things are now and also show it very honestly without trying to like sugarcoat it or make it too harsh. I just wanted to show it as it is. The challenge was put to them in that they had to not only learn technical aspects of photography, but they also had to think about what images would help to portray us as a people. With photography in, in general, and uh, especially with the assignments that we had as far as trying to capture the people the way we see them, I'd say about 5% of its skill and the other 95% is luck, is being there at the right time and capturing something that appeals to you that goes, oh, wow. The difference between me in the back of the lens and 100 years ago outsiders in the back of the lens, for the outsiders, they would be like, hey, wow, look, cool picture. And they would just take these pictures for postcards and stuff like that to send like back, back home where they used to live. Like, look at all these strange people and look, Look, look at what they wear, look at what they do, look at how they look. And I guess for me, in the back of the camera, I can sort of relate to them because I'm someone. This is what I want you to see through the camera, through the pictures that I've taken. It's sort of like saying, outsiders, here, this is what I want you to see. Someone smiling, laughing, giggling, we can do all that. I as someone can hold a camera 
and I can be on the other side of the lens. I prefer, honestly, candid photos, you know, where I just sneak up on them and here we go, take a picture, and then they look at me like, oh my gosh, somebody took a picture of me. I love the photo because, you know, I saw her sitting there, and she's sitting there eating ice cream, and she's so sweet, and she could care less about all these people doing their shopping around her, and that kind of innocence is what I wanted to capture, and I hope that maybe I captured some of that. The psalm one saying goes that it is too far, but unless it's a matter meaning that no man can stand as a as an island or as a mountain Every, everybody is dependent on each other for love and protection and to survive and that's how some ones are some of the imagery that the students would come in to develop really amazed me Ching, the other person involved in our, our project, he's taking a picture of this fish, which in turn did get printed, and I'm taking a picture of him taking this picture with like a, a circle of love. <laughs> I, I was taken aback by uh, the funeral photograph. When I took the picture of the funeral, I don't know. I wanted to show them that this is this is us. We have emotions. In pictures of the past, we were still figures. We we're just posing, but it didn't show the real emotion that's going on within our people. And I think that was important in that funeral shot that I got. Well, I could see the emotion for myself, and I was hoping that through the lens I could show that. Some more people have emotions, that they're just not these still figures portrayed in our past photographs. Yes, it is very beautiful and some things haven't changed. Some things have remained the same. Taking a photo of them playing football portrays an idea that the Samoan kids are looking towards the future, not, not within the Samoan community, but off-island to pursue their own dream. of their project, the students were informed that their photographs would be included as a permanent part of the Polynesian Photo Archives collection. The thought of knowing that my photographs will be in the archives, I feel honored. Um, me, an amateur photographer, taking this class for the first time, and I'm going to have my photographs in the archives. It gives me a voice that I probably never had before. Like I can say I honestly have a voice now in Samoan's history. Um, my grandchildren, great-grandchildren can see what Samoa is like and it will be through me. I had a part in it. <laughs>